Hey there, Cancer. Welcome to Zen Tarot. My name's Julie. I'm going to do a reading for you, Cancer, for the first half of July. But happy birthday, Cancer. <laughs> it's your turn. It's your turn to be celebrated. Happy birthday to my beautiful, beautiful Auntie Joy and to Yolanda. Happy birthday. Hope you have a great, great uh, year and day. <laughs> You're only a day older. All right. Let's get right into it. Cancer, this is a general tarot card reading for the sign of cancer anywhere in your chart. Or if you're just checking in on a cancer, wishing them happy birthday, you're all welcome here. It just might not resonate with all of you. But a moon oracle card for cancer. Ooh, conclusions are within reach. The full moon eclipse. Ooh, that full moon is coming July 3rd. <clears throat> we have the full moon in Capricorn. So I'm going to do a a collective full moon reading and see what that means. But something about this full moon is bringing you some conclusions and expect powerful change. The new moon eclipse. Oh my God. <laughs> this is going to be the biggest birthday yet. <laughs> powerful change coming into you. Animal spirit guide, animal spirit guide for up in the ether for cancer. Cancer, what's going on with you guys? What is going on, Spirit? Tell me about Cancer. Oh, I saw the Cobra. Cancer, Cancer, Cancer. Look at that. They don't want to come out. I was going to say I had the Tiger come out earlier. Zebra. Wow. Gaining some spiritual knowledge here. That third eye really opening up. You being able to see the other side of something. There's a balancing out happening here, Cancer. With your compassion and your grace. I mean, look at how beautiful look at that seeing the other side of something i think that brings in a conclusion and there's that cobra again wow so powerful so powerful you're about to reveal your magic here and the lizard you're shedding skin i saw it with the zebra that you were changing your mind changing your thoughts changing something and we have that expect powerful change wow what is this all about spirit What's this all about for Cancer? What is coming in for Cancer? Let's get a Zen tarot card for up in the ether for Cancer. Tell me about Cancer. Creativity. Something to do with your creativeness, your expression. Wow, look at all the rainbows there. Some real happiness and uh, joy coming for you. Love this. Love this. Intensity. Wow, things are about to get very, very intense for you. And healing. Oh, God, it's an intensity in just such a different direction than what you're used to. You're used to just when it rains, it pours. <coughs> now you have this intensity of peace, peace coming to you. Wow, peace, Cancer. Beautiful, beautiful. What are you thinking about right now, Spirit? Tell me what's on Cancer's mind right now. Tell me what's on Cancer's mind. Three of Swords. Wow, Cancer, what is going on? You are coming out of the dark, just bursting into the light here. Oh my God, you got overwhelmed for a minute. Just in over your head, feeling like this jo was just the last breath that you could give. And then, bam, something comes in. What led up to this? What led up to this sadness for Cancer? Why is Cancer feeling so sad right now, Spirit? The high priestess and the tower. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. This is huge. This is huge. Something fell down. Something didn't work out the way you thought it was going to work out or didn't go the way you had planned. Boy, did it lead up to this powerful change. It's like uh, something was revealed. Something very, very... Uh, 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 shocking. <laughs> shocking. What, what is this? I need more on this. What is this tower about? What is this tower about for cancer? What is going on spirit? The king of cups, somebody holding back, somebody not revealing how they're feeling led you up to a questioning of how they're feeling. Maybe you went deep and, um, that made you nervous. It's like, uh, maybe you didn't want to know the answer. Maybe you asked a question that you didn't want to know the answer to, but you did. 
because you're the high priestess. You absolutely wanted to know what that answer was. Spirit, what's your advice for this? In the mind space, we're looking at the mind space. These are your thoughts, Cancer. These are your thoughts. The Four of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. Man, it's like you were in Groundhog Day and then woke up and then it was the next day and then it, something was massively changed within you, but only maybe you can see it because it's in the mind space. So you woke up thinking completely differently about something or you changed your mind on something drastically here. After a long waiting period, after let me think about this, I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure what I want to do here. So I'm just going to do the same thing. <laughs> Maybe expect different results, right? Interesting. This is very interesting. Let's see what is in the heart space for cancer spirit tell me what cancer is feeling right now what is cancer feeling right now tell me what cancer is feeling all up in your head all up in your head this is definitely some kind of mind thing going on wow it's like you're holding yourself in contempt here for some decision that you feel like you took too long on maybe you feel like you lost an opportunity cancer it's never too late. Never too late. Better late than never. Why is cancer all up in their head space here? Spirit, tell me about what led up to this. What led up to the Eight of Swords? Page of Swords. Some kind of message. Maybe somebody said something and it clarified. It opened up your eyes to something. It made you realize something. The tower in the mind space is usually a realization. But some kind of message made you realize something. It really opened your eyes. King of Swords on the bottom of the deck, and we've got the Queen of Swords out here too. So real balance, real balance in the thoughts. The swords are all about thoughts and communication here. What's the challenge in the heart space for cancer? I need more, I need more. The Empress finding that independence from something. Maybe letting it go, maybe letting go of the illusion and moving toward the truth. It's just, uh, it's, you just don't want to do it. It's like, I'd rather live in denial though. Put me back in the matrix, Cancer says. <laughs> I changed my mind. I don't want to know. <laughs> wow. But some kind of massive realization coming to you brings you so much clarity, Cancer. <laughs> Wow, but I feel those moments of shock and awe. I, I'm never a fan. Just don't surprise me anymore, Spirit. I don't like that. But this, I don't feel like this is a surprise with the high priestess here. The high priestess sees all. So it's like something you saw coming, but you didn't want to go there. You didn't want to bring it in by thinking about it. That could very well be, very well be. But something's coming back from the past and you're realizing something. You're realizing something that you feel differently about something, that some message came in, some person, some conversation opened up something for you. And boy, the walls came tumbling down. It's like some stranger came up and said, hey, Cancer, how you doing? And you just broke down and you just said, oh my God, I have so much to tell you. <laughs> and their eyes go right wide. Oh, <laughs> fine would do. <laughs> oh, Cancer, this is a huge revelation, a huge opening up of yours, really, really being vulnerable and opening up. But a, a massive change of thought. <clears throat> what is the future feeling for cancer? Future feeling for cancer. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm so congested from the summer. I have summer cold maybe, but I keep blaming allergies. We're going to keep going there. Six of swords. Look at this moving on from the troubled waters, letting go. But peeking back, you're still peeking back. There's still something that you can't quite believe. It's like, I, I really, I can't believe I did that. I can't believe that happened. I, you're still trying to settle something in your mind space here. You're just trying to get some kind of closure on something. Because maybe something happened in the past. You just kind of went on living your life. You went on uh, thinking, okay, if I focus on that, I'm going to bring it into my reality. So I'm not going to even focus on it. And you just kept going on something. And there was a, a conversation, something led up to this tearing down of the walls. The truth is revealed to you. And uh, 
breaks you free from this grasp that sadness has had on you. This, uh, uh, it's like you were in this vice of sadness because you couldn't let it go because it was so bottled up maybe, or it was just in the vault for you. It was in the vault, the unpenetrable vault. And this conversation was the lock and key uh, combination. It just opened up that vault of yours and you release, you release. And it brings in such powerful change, Cancer. Wow, Spirit, what's your advice in the heart space for cancer? Temperance, temper yourself. I love this. I love this card coming out of Spirit's advice. Temper yourself here, cancer. It's all about the balance. It's all about the growth, the growth, the learning from our experiences, not just processing them and dealing with them and being very rational about them and being very logical about them. It's also an emotional journey and don't ignore that. Spirit doesn't want you to ignore that. It's the balance between the two. <coughs> the balance, spirituality and practicality card, even though it's not here. <laughs> oh, I love this. You're gaining such balance, such a, uh, a solid core. You have a lower sense of gravity now, a lower... Uh, uh, way to go now because of this growth, this massive revelation, this massive opening up that you are about to do. <laughs> What's this all about? Tell me about the situation. Nine of Pentacles. Really your independence and learning how to grow on your own without someone pushing you to be better. This was all about you pushing you and you defining these uh, boundaries for yourself. You had some walls up. You had some walls up and they came crashing down because of a conversation here, Cancer. So beautiful. It's so beautiful because you're really, really just so vulnerable in this moment and it changes something within you. It's like, wow, where did that come from? <laughs> oh my God. I think you just really surprised yourself because maybe you're normally a very private person. <laughs> like, should I just... Have, uh, uh, did I just say that? <laughs> what led up to this? What led up to this? Oh my God, the magician. I can't believe it. I cannot believe the major arcana. This is something that you've dealt with for a very, very, very long time. Oh, that you are breaking free of. You are setting yourself free of something. It's just this beautiful, beautiful transformation. You went from the chrysalis stage, from the don't share your soul, don't tell anyone, don't, don't say it out loud because that makes it true, to just this kind of, uh, wow, just kind of diarrhea of the mouth. It's just, it, you can't stop it. You can't stop it. It needs to come out. You need to release this. And you do. And you do, because you see it. You see all, you see the lesson in it now. What's the challenge in the situation? What's the challenge? Healing, healing, healing. Look at the major arcana. My God. It's all about healing and replenishment and getting your uh, fire back, your power back, your source back. You get, you get that channeling going through you. You were stopped up. You were so stopped up. It was almost like for this subject, for this thing in your life, you were constipated with it. You could not release it. It just, it just built up for a very, very long time until it just, it was like a, a, a boil almost. It just had to go. It had to be released. It got too painful to keep it locked away in the vault. Wow. This is all about your massive healing cancer. This year, this solar year, this solar birthday year is all about healing, healing, healing. <clears throat> and replenishment. Getting your energy back. Getting your life spark back. Getting that purpose. You're really learning some kind of valuable purpose here future, future situation for cancer. Wow. This is so powerful. I'm loving this. I'm loving this transformation. Page of wands. There it is. There's your fire coming back to you. The, now that you're free and clear, you don't have any baggage anymore, cancer. You're not trying to ca carry this heavy load of swords in your back. <laughs> 
you, you can finally lay them down. You can finally let them go. Something is massively released within you and it changes. It changes everything. It changes your stripes. It changes your ideas. It changes your uh, habits. It changes your uh, dreams. Beautiful. What is your advice, spirit, for this massive personal transformation coming in for cancer? The world. Oh, Cancer. Wow. The last card in the major arcana. The last card. And then we move on to the fool, the clean slate, the zero card. But you're at 21. You are at the end of that cycle that is over 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 you get to move on with this clean slate because of the release because of the uh exposing of yourself the revealing of you and what you've gone through here what you've experienced you're allowing yourself to experience those emotions that you kept locked away you kept hidden from everyone it didn't get me it didn't get me i'm stronger than that and the whole time it was just like that drop of poison every day because you weren't releasing it you were afraid to focus on it and i totally get that i'm so much like that i want to suck my thoughts back in because i'm so fearful that spirit's going to bring me what i don't want <laughs> That damn law of att of attraction. <laughs> Knight of Cups, there you are. There you are revealing your heart now, giving of your heart now, giving of your emotions. Wow, Cancer, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Tell me, Spirit, I gotta know about the High Priestess and the Tower. What does Cancer see coming that is so life-changing? What is this life-changing moment for Cancer? What is it all about? What is it all about? The sadness. There it is again. I've never been so happy to see this three of swords pop up, Cancer, because it's over. It's over. The sadness, the holding it away, the keeping it locked up, everything inside you just dying because you weren't feeding it. You weren't giving it the attention it needed. You weren't giving it the love and compassion and understanding that that situation needed. But something gets triggered. There's a trigger here. There's a, a word, a messenger, a friend, a counselor, a, a card reader <laughs> that triggers something within you. And boy, do you open up. It's like you're on the ground. Just mercy, Lord, mercy. And you get it. You receive it in the moment that you ask so powerful. The angels are around you so powerfully right now, Cancer, because they know that you are on the precipice of really, really understanding what grief is and how it serves us and how it does not serve us and how to move, move, move now into your own experiences, your own journey here, really fully claiming it. Wow, wow, wow. So powerful, so powerful. Tell me about the King of Cups and the Queen of Swords and this kind of waiting time, this hold back, hold on, hold on. What was that all about, Spirit? Yeah, look at this, you know, and it's Capricorn, full moon in Capricorn on July 3rd. Full moon, if conclusions are within reach, I want you to cancer to do a moon potion. I want you to fill a mason jar with water, distilled water, filtered water, whatever. <laughs> Grab a stone, your favorite stone. It doesn't matter. It's got to be a crystal though. It's got to be uh, something that will hold your intent. Put your intent into this stone, just everything you've got. Just what do I want? Spirit, tell me what I want, even, even if that's the question. Spirit, what do I want? Put it in that jar. Leave it out overnight with the full moon rays beaming down on it, Cancer. And then use that water every day. Put it in a sprayer. Spritz. Spritz, your, <laughs> spritz yourself. <laughs> And get rid of the toxins, get rid of the demons, get rid of it. The dark has got to go for you. It is your time in the sun, your time to be creative, your time to be light and joyful and celebratory and balanced and balanced. Yeah, you've got to rid yourself of those demons. Let them go. They've pierced your heart for far too long. They've had that 
hold on your heart here. Got to go. All right, who's this messenger? Tell me about this messenger. Who is this? Oh, I saw the sun. Reciprocity. It could come from work. It could come from uh, where you are receiving money, maybe the home space. I don't know. Let's see, get more information on that. Who's this messenger? Who's this messenger? Four of Swords. Somebody in your group with you, somebody in uh, the uh, inner circle with you, but it is hurting as well, hurting as well. So maybe you both go looking for advice. You both go looking for uh, some kind of um, release. Maybe you go see a psychic together, maybe something like that. And you get uh, so much release in that moment. Yeah, that could very well be. Six of Swords. I want to see uh, moving on to where's Cancer moving? Where's Cancer going? Where's Cancer going, Spirit? Where is Cancer going? Knight of Swords. Wow. <laughs> You're going toward it so fast. So fast. You are running toward the answer here. You are sprinting toward it here. <laughs> oh, it's just this grand, grand finale on something. It's really this grand finale. <laughs> oh, c'est la vie. Go, go. Be, you got to go. <laughs> Nine of Pentacles. What's this independence? And the magician. What is Cancer creating now? What is Cancer creating? Oh, you can't see everything. There's a surprise happening here for you. And the King of Cups again. Again, you're creating this new relationship with you now. With you post this. Post this. Uh, uh, it's like you, you're, you're moving on from some kind of very traumatic situation here. And now you've got this temperance, you've got this balance, you've got this, uh, massive wish coming true for you here, cancer, a massive wish coming true. Close your eyes and make a wish and put it in that intention stone. <laughs> and it, it's coming to you. It's coming true. Your wish is granted here. So I, I love that with the star and it really rids you of some dark, dark, times that you wouldn't let yourself feel you held it in this sacred sacred place it was you had this reverence for it you had this honor for it it hit you deep this loss this uh letting go this having to say goodbye too soon to something someone and it, you're healing that there's a healing a stitching happening here a mending of your heart here and it has to do with you changing your thoughts about this, you revealing yourself here, you breaking down the walls, you breaking down the walls. And um, yeah, yeah, you moved through something. I, I love this cancer. I love this. I, I just, I'm so in awe of this transformation. It's, it's very powerful, very powerful. <laughs> All right, let's look at your new adventure with this no baggage feel to you with this uh, lighter than air, this new start uh, journey that you're about to impart on with the world energy. My God, what is that all about? Spirit, what is that? Too many cards. Let's see. I want to get more specific. I see the lovers though. Eight of swords moves you out of your head, moves you out of your head and into the experience of it. But more, I need just a little bit more. Three of pentacles. It could be at the workplace. You get some kind of victory, some kind of justice here, some kind of uh, um, reward here. But look at that lady justice is here. It could be some kind of court battle that you've been through or some kind of really dark time. Something was taken from you. There was an injustice here, cancer. There was a imbalance, a, a, an out of whack <clears throat> experience for you. It was very unjust. It was very, uh, very much to do with someone else's karma here. <clears throat> but it pierced you deep. It, it really took your breath away. It was not um, losing your car keys. <laughs> it was way deeper than this. But it was because of someone else's journey that they were on, that they were experiencing. But you put this wall up. You didn't want to talk about it. You thought if I talk about it, it makes it real. It makes it tangible. I don't want to talk about it. And you went some time where you didn't talk about it. And then there's this trigger. There's this moment where somebody says something or somebody is counseling you or somebody is um, just hearing you and they say something and it crumbles down there. You can hear the cracks in those walls. You can all, I can feel the walls falling from you and justice is served. It's just like, yes, 
yes, now cancer is open. Now cancer is free to receive. They've rid themselves of these demons and the demons were not expressing yourself about it, not talking about it, keeping it locked up in that vault for it to vault, for it to fester and grow and, and uh, exaggerate and, and really uh, interfere with your life's purpose, interfere with your life's journey. And you are ridding yourself of that. Expect powerful change is right. This full moon coming, uh, do an intention moon potion and uh, get rid of the dark, get rid of the devil, kick the devil to the curb, cancer. It's time to expose the devil. You can't just kick kick him out. You have to expose him. You have to understand who is who is this being? Who what is this energy that makes me hold back? That makes me not want to be uh, expressive of what I've gone through here. Who who is the devil? Expose the devil. Name the devil, and the devil will flee. <laughs> You're way more powerful. Way more powerful. We all are. We all are. It's just an energy. It's not a being. Just an energy, but. But your walls are coming down. Cancer, I'm loving this for you. I am loving. It's going to feel very intense in this moment. So you hold on. Deep breathe. Deep breathe. Use that spray. Create that spray here. And just, you know, spray it, spray it, spray it. Just smudge it away. Lots of smudging. Lots of uh, uh, cleansing here, Cancer. Because you're going to be very thirsty as well. Lots of water. Lots of water when you go through these personal transformations. Um, you need a lot of water, a lot of things from the earth. So I love this. I love this. Very intense, very intense, very intense uh, birthday for you. This year is going to be so different for you. You're going to find this independence that you really haven't had in a long time because there's always been this tug going on when you tried to relax, when you tried to gain this independence. So uh, you're about to rid yourself of that energy. You're, you're, and it happens by exposing it. Just remember that. I've got to expose it. I've got to name it. I've got to, um, got to find him first before I can slay him. And, and you've got to find what is, what are you afraid to talk about? What are you afraid to reveal here? How you felt about something? Maybe. Maybe. Oh, I love this. Oh God, I love this. I love this cancer. Huge, huge, powerful change coming for you. <laughs> all right. I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to leave it here. Leave me a comment. Let me know if this resonates at all. Oh God, I am sending you strength and um, hold on cancer. You're about to go for a ride. I mean, seriously, you're about to go for a ride of your life here. When you rid yourself of this darkness, it's up, up, up and away. So good for you. Good for you. All right, I'm going to leave it here. Cancer, I hope you have a fantastical first half of the month of July, and I will definitely tune in with you soon.